morning everyone welcome back to the vlog it has been a minute i wanted to give you an update on all the things happening in my world because it has been so long today we're starting the day off with a site visit i am in east vancouver we've got a huge build out of a presentation center that we're doing we're under construction right now and we're on site one of my favorite things to do uh, so come on in we're gonna check up on what's going on with this project. homes in East Vancouver out of this presentation center, which is why this project is so exciting. Another reason is that the developer has taken over one of the homes that's on this site and converted it to the presentation center. This has never been done in Vancouver. This is the first time I've worked on a project like this. So this is a very, very cool project. No bar. What? No bar, no coffee shop, no bar. So we, because I was like, I was flip flopping, we, me and Karen had talked obviously. And like the more I come into the space doing this big like round bar here, I don't know, walking the other day, being yeah. here, it's just too much going on. Like it needs, if we want to. That was the concern to begin with. It was just like it coming out too much here and not having enough. We need enough circulation. Party space. And if anything, like, is that going to look dumb? On the back wall there? Yeah. Like, like is that, enough. is that going to look like. Like an afterthought, like not a real yeah, bar like bar. yeah. Well, this one be a bar at all. This is like this is your bar experience, and that behind it is like another you know, shelf. Shelves you see with like a leaning record and stuff of that. Kind of what Kiki's proposing on that other wall. It goes with our overall creative design. I know. I just don't want it to be like, oh, it's cute. So cute. They I tried to do a bar. Well, that's what. I okay, hang on a second. Let me explain what we're debating here, because what the heck are we talking about? Well, often when we're designing a presentation center, there's a pretty standard way of organizing the front entry of a presentation center space. Typically, potential buyers will come in and they'll be greeted with a so-called check-in desk, and we've designed lots of those. So what we're discussing here, the client, the marketing director and I, is can we take inspiration from something completely different to create a brand new entry experience? We're debating whether we can take inspiration from something like a coffee shop or a bar, something completely different to transform the typical experience of walking into a presentation center. That's what I love about working with this client. They are open to brand new ideas. And I just don't want it to be like, oh cute, they tried to do a bar. Well, that's what I mean. That's you what know, I mean. if it's yeah. not actually, yeah. you know what I mean? What so what's really exciting about this project is that we built out a full presentation center for 72 homes that are going to market next year. And inside this house, we built out the presentation center and we've got a full townhouse installed which is coming together so you can see the facade right now the windows are in flooring is in come on inside flooring is down this looks incredible i love these light oak floors the kitchen is going to be installed right here we've got a beautiful walnut and black kitchen. This is gonna look incredibly dramatic. The main floor has a powder room, a dining room, a living room, where you guys are right now in front of me. And then upstairs, there's two bedrooms, a storage room, and two bathrooms. So this is a pretty incredible townhouse and I'm so excited for this to be done. Really, really soon. Look, when you're working on a project for many, many, many months, 
and it really starts coming together. It's so exciting and such a gratifying feeling. Site visit is done. It's looking really good in there. Floors are going down. The wood floor looks awesome. Tile is being laid. I am in love with the brown marble porcelain tile. It's looking really, really good. And now that this is done, we're gonna head into the office and you guys are gonna come with me and see what's going on at the House of Bond studio. So we are working on another real estate development project. This is in North Vancouver. This is a townhouse project that we're doing. And do you know how many townhomes there are in total? I think about 70. 70, yeah. yeah. So 70 townhomes on the North Shore. And we are gonna go through some specifications. So we're gonna go through plumbing fixtures, lighting fixtures, uh, we're gonna go through the finishes and we're prepping for a client presentation and meeting that's coming up on Monday. This week, we're wrapping up a lot of our presentations because next week is our last week before we break for the holidays. So we've got a lot to do. Hey everyone, I am wrapping up my day. Things are just as intense and just as active and interesting as they've always been. Now having Madison, who's almost 10 months, my own life has gotten just so much crazier. But this last year has been a lot about focusing on quality for me. That's been the biggest thing. I've been really hands-on with all my projects. So right now I'm doing drawing reviews and overseeing the design really from start right until finish. I'm doing a lot of site visits, which I love. It's so important to me to deliver on quality. And this last year has just kind of been all about that. Things are really exciting. We've got multifamily work that we're doing, tons of developer work. We're wrapping up a restaurant that's going into construction in the new year. We have some projects in LA in Los Angeles that we're doing a mega house that I cannot wait to share more with you about this is just such an incredible project and definitely a career highlight I've got a podcast that's launching in the new year and tomorrow I'm shooting and recording two back-to-back -back episodes so I'm gonna get out of here because it's the end of the day This is Karen. Hi! Her name is also Karen. <laughs> Karen Hookstra. That's me. Okay, cool. I said it. I said it right. How are you doing today? Good. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. That's like I say um, my first entrepreneurial journey was hustling chocolate bars when I was in elementary oh, yeah. school. <laughs> yeah. That just brought back memories. Yeah. yeah. It's always crazy. Oh, We're just getting set up right now so a little behind the scenes we've got the team in the boardroom this is how we're doing our zoom recordings so maria is typically out here and she can see what's going on so she can see the actual zoom recording tech is just in there making sure that the audio is good all the tech is working um so we get all of that set up before i jump in and do the interview i'm great how are you it's so nice to see you. I know, you know, it's so funny. I, yeah, the background's pretty cool, hey? It was the best thing that I did. I, it kind of started in 2020, not because of the pandemic, but just because I had, the show had launched. Um, I was up to about 14 people at that point. Two. 
Another one done. <laughs> the tech is just gonna wrap up, that's good. The two interviews are done for the day, which is awesome, I feel great. Whew, I can relax. We've got a little bit more filming to do throughout the day. Um, yeah, but I feel good, and my lunch is here. <laughs> gonna get those little chompers nice and clean and white. Yeah? Can I give it to mommy? Okay my dear, you're just getting into everything aren't you? Got some fertility tests down here. We've got crest whitening strips, some band-aids, travel cases, face masks, some more fertility tests. <laughs> you wanna help me say bye to everyone on the vlog? Oh, are you waving goodbye? Yes, you are, cause you are such a smart baby. Oh, and you're reaching for the phone. <laughs> you are such a smart baby. You are such a smart baby. Mm. Okay, so, you wanna, you wanna help me say bye? You wanna help me say bye? Yes, you do. Help me say bye? Can you guys believe that Madison is 10 months already? 10 months already! You are getting so old! You're gonna be a year in no time! Right? In no time! And you are a little busy body. You're keeping mom very, very busy. <laughs> you wanna wave to everyone? Yeah! Good job! Oh, wow. Yes, you're so good! You're so good! Well, Madison definitely keeps me very, very busy, obviously. I run a tight, tight schedule these days with, um, let's see, wake up, what do we do? We do, I, I get up usually with Madison in the morning uh, around, well lately she's been sleeping until seven, which is pretty good, but typically it's been about 5.30 or six, right? That mommy will wake up, I'll do a bottle, get her changed, get her ready for the day. And then my husband usually takes over so that I can get ready for work. Um, we've got actually a really good rhythm and setup going right now because Chris is a stay-at-home dad. That was a decision that we've made. So he's on leave right now and will stay on leave for the next little while. At least until you're 18 months, at least, very least. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah so that mommy can still run her interior design business and do all the fun things that I do, like design homes for people. Ah! Yeah, that's right. And make content for people on YouTube and Instagram. Right? Right? Yeah. Oh, oh. Don't touch the phone. Don't touch the phone. And then I am, well, I work from home definitely one day a week, if not two days a week when I can, which is great. And then um, I'm usually at the office from first thing in the morning. I try to get out of the studio around 4 or 4.30 so that I can be home in time to do dinner time, bath time, and bedtime. So I really love being at home to do that with Madison. I do that almost every single night. And then Chris and I have dinner, and then usually it's our bedtime. So that's the schedule these days. You wanna play with that while mommy finishes up? Yeah? Okay. I think one of the best things about becoming a mom is not just the overwhelming sense of love and joy and purpose and focus that you feel, but it's given me the ability to have way better, clearer boundaries because I just don't have the time to do all the things that I used to do before. I just don't have the time to have a meeting run really long or 
to have a call take longer than it needs to take. Like I just need to get stuff done because I've got other priorities that I need to take care of. Um, so that's helped me a lot. Becoming a mom, becoming a mom has helped me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you saying? What you saying? I'm uh, wrapping up a vlog and watching Madison and cleaning up at the same time. <laughs> Just a few things to clean up here. No big deal. This actually isn't as bad as it could be. A big shift in my mindset when it comes to business as well is being extremely intentional. So intentional about the types of clients that I take on, intentional about the types of projects that I do, intentional about my time, intentional about the way that I respond to other people, intentional about the way that I wanna grow my business. And that is an incredible gift. And uh, I just love this sense of clarity that I have right now. So anyways, we're gonna sign off here. Madison, can you help me say bye to everyone? Can you help me say bye to everyone? Can you help me say bye? Bye, love you guys. Can you wait? Clap, clap, clap. Yeah. Okay, you guys, thanks for joining me on this vlog. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. It's 2023, oh my gosh. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. I try to publish content every single Monday, but it doesn't always happen. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you know when new content is going live. The podcast is gonna be released next week. I'm so excited for you guys to see the first episode and Hit me up, let me know if you have a video request. I would love to hear what you want to see more of, so let me know down in the comments below.